you went from working in retail to like owning the actual pharmacy, right? Right. So I started working when I came out of, uh, when I graduated, uh, uh, I realized that uh, the chain drugstores, it was not an avenue that I wanted to uh, go down. Uh, so I started working at three different independents, 20 hours each. So I was working 60 hours a week, three different independents. And in New York, there are a lot of independents. So back in the day, it was able, you were able to do part-time uh, different drugstores. And after two weeks, one of the owners uh, liked me a lot, my work ethic, and you know, I cleaned up the pharmacy. The pharmacy was really old. So I cleaned it up and uh, he liked me. So he ended up getting rid of his full-time pharmacist and he gave me a full-time position at 56 hours a week. So that I stayed with him and you know, he let me pretty much run the pharmacy for him. I doubled his business within the, within the first, I would say two years. He was, you know, older gentleman, wasn't really a lot of energy into the place, but me being me, and I brought in a lot of laughter into the pharmacy, a lot of, a lot of compassion, and we started to helping people a lot. And the word got out, you know, we, uh, pharmacy was in a little town in uh, Long Island called Bayshore. And um, people, the word got out that uh, there's somebody that actually cared about people. And, you know, New Yorkers are very compassionate people. They're rowdy in, sometimes, but they're very compassionate and very loyal. So once you're able to get on their good side, they're, you're their hero. And I was blessed. I stayed in that neighborhood for, uh, from 1991 to 2008. So 17 years, I was, uh, I was their, their go-to guy. And I helped thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, clients, uh, families, three, four generations, their kids, their grandkids, they all come into the same pharmacy. Uh, and it was really a pleasure going to work. I was working 14 hours a day. I, I worked all the hours, 72 hours a week that the pharmacy was open for at least uh, 12 to 14 years. So I put a lot of time and energy into it, but it was, it, it's when you're having fun, when, when the environment that you create it's fun. You don't mind working long hours because you see what your result is. We, as pharmacists, we go to school for two reasons. Number one, because we're compassionate about helping people. And number two, obviously, we want to get compensated. Well, the compensation, it's, it goes on the, on the, it becomes like a second. You're, we're not trained to look at money all the time. We're trained to look, how do I take care of this person? Their, their family, their, you know, their, their pain and whatever needs they have. And that becomes a priority. And I think that's why we're very, we're not the number one trustworthy, trust uh, profession. And there is a reason for it. People, people trust us. Yes, yes, yes. Man, you just hit on a couple of things. Um, like one is uh, creating a great workspace, right? Because we do be like, we do, uh, work in that area and it's a small confined area for long periods of time, 12, 13 hours a day and making sure that one, the environment is good and safe. Uh, two, having a strong um, team with you that's as compassionate as you are with making sure that the people that comes into the pharmacy are taken care of. And uh, number three is just being able to like, like you say, go back to being like a people person and having that um, that love for what you do from what you're saying, 27 years, one place, and you turned it around. Within two years, you doubled the the growth of the company. That says a lot about you, a lot about how you gave to that community and they started to come back and give, give to you. 